In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Elementor Loop Builder. At first, when this came out, I wasn't really sure if this was useful, but the more I used it, I realized that this is a really, really powerful feature. So let me show you how to set it up and how you can design it so that it works for you. So over here, I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. I have Elementor Pro installed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to my theme builder. So I'm going to hover over here, templates, and then click on theme builder. So this now is going to take me to all my templates, but the one I'm looking for here is the loop item. So I'm going to click on it. And then over here on the top, I'm going to click on add new. So my main focus here is to create my loop for my blog post. Okay, so let's go ahead and start designing this. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to drag a container. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next, I'm going to need a featured image. So for my featured image, I'm just going to click here and search for my image module, which is right here. Drag and drop it. Next, I'm going to click in here because I need to search for my dynamic tags and set it to featured. Because if we just use it as it is, this won't work. All right. So next, I need to add my title. So I'm going to come over here. Before I add my title, let's add my text here because I want to add my date first. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, of course, this is just my default text, but I also need my dynamic tags here and look for my date. So I'm going to select my post date. I can add even more information here. Like, for example, I could say published on, but I'm going to leave this as it is. Next, I'm going to come over here to my style, center it. And I am going to also make it a bit smaller and make it bold because that's not my main content on this item. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to my typography. And for my size, I'm going to set this to 14. For my weight, let's make this bold. And for my line height, I'm just going to set this to 1. But let's make it 1 EM. All right, so let's move on and do the next item. So this time, is this is going to be my post title drag and drop it in here. Again, I am going to center this. But as you can see, this is way too big. So I really want to come over here and select maybe heading four because I don't want this to be way too big. All right. Next, I'm going to come back. In fact, before I do that, let's go ahead and fix my line height. So I'm going to come to typography here. The size, I think it's OK. Let's change this to bold. And for my line height, I'm going to scroll further down, set this to EM, and let's try one, see what that looks like. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so now that I have that, uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to click here on my main item. So gap between items is the gap between uh, all my items in here. And I can see sometimes it leaves a massive space. So I don't want to do that. So I want to leave something reasonable. So let's go with, let's go with three. So now it's time to add the next item. So here I would like to display some excerpts. So I'm going to come over here, drag and drop it like that. Again, I'm going to go in and customize my text here because my line height doesn't look right. So as you can see here, this is really cool because I can go in and make whatever changes that I need to make. So I can change the size here to about 16 pixels. And I can also come over here to my line height, set it to maybe 1.2 EM. All right, so let's continue on. So the next thing I want to add here is a button. So I'm going to scroll down and here is my button. I'm going to drag and drop it in here. OK, so we can see here that this is a bit too big. So first of all, we are going to change the text here and say read more. We're going to center it. And now it's time to adjust this. But before I do that, I'm going to come over here and set this to post URL. So what that is going to do is when you click that, it's going to take you to the actual post itself. All right. So now we're going to come over here to style. So my button here can be adjusted by coming over here to the padding. So let's start with four and you can see right away my button becomes smaller. So I'm just going to go in a few increments here and see what best uh, size I'm going to go with. I'm going to break the chain. And for my left and right, I'm going to set this to 24. Do the same over here. OK, so my button here is much better. Now, if you wanted to uh, ha have it look like a pill, we can also do that by coming over here on the border radius. But we are not going to do that. OK, so now that I have my main layout here done, in fact, you know what? I may need to in increase the space between my items here. So let's go and give this a bit of breathing space. OK, so we're going to go with 10. So on the background here, I may also need to add, say, a background color. 
So let's do that by coming over here to style. I'm gonna go to my background here, click on my color. So I'm gonna go with a very light gray, very subtle. Next, I'm gonna come all the way down here to the border because I wanna add some rounded corners. So I'm gonna set this to, let's go with 10 for my border radius. And I also need to add some padding because all my content here is way too close to the edge. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to advanced and go to my padding. So I'm gonna set this as a percentage. So let's go with um, say 4% and this is going to be all sides. So let's add a bit more. Okay, so we're gonna go with six and for my image here, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna come over here, go to my style and I'm also going to give this rounded corners. So I'm gonna go with eight, see how that looks. Yeah, it's not too bad. Now what we can also do is we can also add a hover state on the opacity here, I can set it. So you can see here we have a slight hover effect. So just adjust this until you are happy with what it looks like. Now over here on the uh, hover animation, I can also um, maybe shrink. So you can see now we have a bit of an animation here and we can also adjust. There we go. So you can play around with this until you are pretty much happy with the animation or what it looks, how it looks like. So I think this is done now. All I need to do is to center this because I forgot to do that earlier on. I'm gonna go ahead and center it. So this is how my design is gonna look like. And now I can publish it. So now that I've saved it, I can add it to any part of my website. So let me show you that. So first of all, I'm gonna click here on this plus button and add my column structure here. So I don't want this way too close to the top. So I'm just gonna add some margin top. Okay, so let's set this to 100. All right, so what I'm gonna start doing now is to add my module. So I'm gonna scroll down here. In fact, here it is, I'm gonna drag and drop it. So now it's gonna ask me to type in the first few letters. I know uh, my default templates are gonna start with Elementor or something. So since I only have one, I'm gonna select that. And now you can see that each and every post now has been stylized with what I've just designed here in the loop. So whatever change I make here is going to be reflected across the whole website. Now, as we look at this, there's also further customizations that we can do here. I can set this to show four items, four columns, and I can also set this to uh, show, say, four items as well. So you can see now, that I've just literally customized my layout here by just creating this instance in one loop item. So now when I'm looking at this, I can tell that I may need to add a bit more spacing here. So if I need to make a change to that, I can always come over here. In fact, let me hit, let me hit update and then I can go into my template again and start customizing it. So all I need to do is to customize this one and all my changes are going to be updated across the rest of them. So first of all, I just wanna go in and adjust my button here. It's way too big. So I'm gonna come over here to style and let's go to typography first and adjust my size. So I'm gonna go with, I think 14 is fine. And pretty much that's all I wanna do. So now that I've made my updates, I can just now take a quick look and see what this looks like. So this is now my final design. At any point, I can always come back and make some tweaks. And this is going to be applied pretty much across the whole website where this has been applied. Now, the really nice thing I like about this is this can also be used with a WooCommerce products. And you can also use this as a slider. So it has many applications. This is going to make your design process amazing. I have a link to Elementor Pro in the video description below. So you can go ahead and check it out. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.